Um, my, my, my question is, well, it's two parts. Okay. The first part is I personally have gotten so much incredible advice from both of you. I'm wondering what is the best piece of advice that you've ever been given? And part two, I've been writing since I was seven. I write a lot of poetry and fiction, and I'd really like to attempt a screenplay. Any suggestions on where to learn how to do that, other than just, like, oh, wow. Googling and going to the library? Well, for, for the script, um, there you can break down the three-act structure, which is how every single film is done, unless you want to do something in David Lynch and Art House, which totally, you know, rules are meant to be broken. But uh, first act... And then towards the end, around page 15, 12, is whatever leads you into the second act. Second act, middle of second act, worst thing ever that ever happens, which is, oh, the movie's awful, you know. And then um, going into the third act, whatever brings you out into that and everything like that. Of between your first uh, 15, 12 pages, you should introduce your characters by the mark where you're leading into your second act. You have to find whatever is the thing that's going to lead you into the movie. And then, you know, the hijinks happen. Uh, watching the movies that you love is really a great a way to do it. Uh, getting the scripts, just looking at it, but also know that the script isn't what's going to be at the end. At a certain point when you're editing it, it's the, set, uh, the third time you put your movie together, and there's just know what the overall theme is, not just like, oh, I want to make a cool thing, oh, here's an idea I had, or it's more important if it's like, this happened to me, but I had no control over this in my life. How can I take my power back and take control of that situation? How would I like that situation to go? How would everyone like that situation to go and kind of build around that? Uh, I like to think of horror movie as three awesome kills and no shitty ones. <laughs> I have two pieces of advice. The best filmmaking piece of advice I got and the best life piece of advice. Which one do you want first? Life, film? You choose. It's heavy. Heavy. I'll start with film. Okay. Know your shit. Know your shit. I remember I was talking to Eli Roth and he was talking about like movies from the 40s and he's like, you haven't seen it? And like, you're older than me, no offense, and no. And he's like, you gotta know everything. And he also was right because it was well before the Me Too era and no one gave a shit if you were a female. That worked against you, especially if you were a pretty female. She's pretty, so it was really difficult for me. <laughs> and he said, you don't need to know everything because people are going to shoot throw holes through everything you do and they're going to rip it up. And now I love to say something that someone doesn't know and I go, fake geek guy! <laughs> but the best piece of advice I ever got is love yourself. Before anything else, it's not selfish to love yourself and do self-love. And if you're in a relationship, situation, conversation even, where you feel like you're dying on the inside, that's your little inner voice saying, this is not good for you, so go away. Don't think about anyone else's feelings or bullshit because they surely don't think about yours. Put yourself always first. Best filmmaking advice? Best filmmaking advice? Finish what you start. Finish your script, finish your movie. I can't tell you how many people are like, oh, I have finished this short and I'm going to do this feature. I'm like, no, you can't follow through on anything. You have these little things, so, you know, that's that's your calling card. I've had people saying, I've been working on this for 10 years. I'm like, what have you done? Well, I've got the script. I'm like, you've been sitting on it for 10 years. You ain't been working on it. Working, there's a big difference. Show me your maquettes. Show me your croquis. Show me the actors you brought the script. Show the mean emails from the agents. <laughs> I was just going to say, like, I also feel like... If you're any kind of creator, if you're in this crowd and you're any kind of creator, don't let anyone put you down or tell you not to do it. Yeah. Do it yourself. Do it. And by any means necessary, do it. And you can't worry if people aren't going to like it. Mm -hmm. You're making something for you. It's your, every movie that they've done, they've done because they want to make it for themselves. It's their vision. So if someone else doesn't like it, that's their problem, not theirs. So next question. You rock.